Hello again. This is the Waterman, Spiritual Toolbox number 372, John chapter 4, recording number 14, audio recording number 690, and examination table number 347. I'm going to continue in John chapter 4, verse 5. I have it pre-recorded, so here it goes. Hello again. This is the Waterman, Spiritual Toolbox number 372. John chapter 4, recording number 14, audio recording number 690, and examination table number 347. We're continuing in John chapter 4, verse 5. It says in the King James Version, Then cometh he to the city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now, we left off, we're down to Sychar. Okay, and that word comes from Sychar, that city. It's the, the name comes from 4965, S-Y-C-H-A-R, this word. Strong's G, 4965. So far. So far. Well, these names are stuck in the Bible. It's just like, kind of like the, the, the name of God, the Alama. Okay? You just call it Anoma, but it, it, the Buddha pronounces it Alama. Okay? Or like in the Old Testament, Shame. It's pronounced Shame, but it's S H E M. Okay? That's where the blue letters Okay, they're speaking of the nature, character, authority, what it's actually like. And it's right before this, right, it's saying there's a ha, the ball of thinking of Samaria, which is called, okay, that was um, Lego. It's it usually a systematic or set discourse. It's to relate in words. It's to mean. It means... The Sychar. What's this thing mean? What's that word mean? Okay, it's a proper locative noun. Okay. Now let's let's break this down. And this proper locative noun it has its its origins, uh, the the root the etymology of this from the Hebrew word eight seventy nine forty one. Okay. <clears throat> now this this um. Sychar, Sychar, I think, or whatever they say, it's S-Y-C-H-A-R, the 4965, means drunken, inebriated by one's own righteousness, their non-spiritual thinking, hmm. polluted by darkness, ignorance of God's righteousness, carnality, it's your own stinking thinking, you're intoxicated by that stuff. You're drunk. It's like being drunk on your own wine, your own stinking thinking. It's that yuck wine. Hmm? That yuck revelation disclosure of truth before known. It's not the true wine, the rich, the qu high quality wine of God. That's bringing back, that's that revelation apocalypse, that. Disclose your truth before known that rights of God's bringing his racham. Increasing you in racham. Hmm? In the ability to love as he first loved you, as God loves us. Right? That's the good one. This is as old natural stinking thinking stuff. This wine is, you're drunk on it. Intoxicated by your own bullshit thinking. Your own worthless and detestable thinking. That's what that city sidecar is all about. Your old stinking thinking. Hmm? And I'm in the natural. I'm I'm allergic to wine. If I drink, I drink a little thimble. Not even a thimbleful. Not even an ounce. A little sip of before when I discovered it. Cause something always did something. I, Try to drink a wine cooler, and I couldn't even make it through one, man. I would be whelps, itching and stuff, and I didn't know what was going on. Well, I took a little bit of 
little sip of this cooking sherry once. Man, I thought to died. I was whelped from head to toe, just burning up, itching like crazy. I had to go stand with just shorts on, no shoes or nothing, about 20 degree weather outside for like an hour, over an hour, before the stuff stopped. And I just took a sip, less than a, less than a, uh, maybe like a teaspoon full. You know, less than a thimble. Man, just a little sip of it, they like the dad won't throw me up. Just a little bit, man, I was like, oh, I'm cold, I'm about to die. I, I mean, it was just like I had whelps all over me, just like somebody striked me with a switch everywhere. And I was burning up. Man, that ain't that going to want that crap. That's like putting that natural feeding, partaking from that old stinking thinking process. It'll kick your ass. If I try to drink a whole, bo whole bottle of wine, I'll probably die <laughs> of natural wine. Hey, crap, you can, have, you can keep all that shit you want. I don't want that junk. That's, uh, give me some water or something. Man, that's, that's just uh, that's awful. Why? Oh, crap. Huh? It's all right if you can drink it. But, uh, it's all right. That's what you... You know, I'm not saying you drink natural water, so no. This is just me. And the spirit here, he drink of this, this city psychar is drunken on its own natural stinking thinking processes. Hmm? They're falling down the staircase. Pow, 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 I'm all right, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm doing so much. <laughs> Look at me, I'm standing on my head now, I'm on my, on my ass now, I'm on my shoulder, now I'm on my shoulder, now. beating y'all a heck up, right, that's not the spiritual wine, that's not the water from God, God prevails Israel, huh, no, that's, that's from that Jacob nature, he'll grab her trickster, he's trying to kick, trip you up and push you down them stairs, so you can stay king of your heart, of your mind. Hmm? Now, in the Thayer's Greek lexicon, it's saying that this uh, uh, 4965 is Sychar. It's a falsehood. And thereby, uh, uh, hang on, I need to, I can't read my right. <laughs> Let me get down there to it in a second. Uh, a falsehood, and thereby, okay, it was, and thereby brand the city as given to idolatry. That's right, out of the strong, out of the, uh, Thayer's, Greek lexicon, branded the city as given over to idolatry. Hmm, he goes right over, yeah, and thereby brand the city is given over to idolatry. It's a falsehood. It's an, uh, what's that idolatry? That's that false image worship in your mind. You're thinking of, you're always thinking, thinking of good and evil. That's that, that uh, red wine, carnal mind thinking. Your own true knowledge of good and evil. Huh? It's a big log in your eye right there. You see any trace that smells married to that old stinking thinking. Hmm? And you're intoxicated. You're drunken. You're drunk. You're in a skunk. You can't even stand up. Because you're drinking that bullshit thinking. Okay? You get it? Turn from that stuff and go to God. And get his new wine, the higher quality wine. Hmm? Not even going into that. What is it in uh, John chapter two? I think where you change the water to wine to the new wine. Okay. Uh, well, maybe I'll get that. I'm thinking I might possibly after I get this whole book taught of John. That's going to take quite a while. I don't buy it for it. Then come back and get the first couple chapters in that because I started in chapter three in this book. Okay. I have to follow whatever God wants me to do, okay? Alright, so now, 
Now that were the Sychar. It's its etymology from the Hebrew word 7941. And let me have it pronounced. It's S E C A R R K A R. Sorry. S E K A R. Let me get down to it here. Okay, so Sychar and uh, H7941 um, is this word. Strong's H7941. Shehar. Shehar. okay. That's a masculine noun. Remember, this is all under a proper locative noun, the Sychar, okay? It's telling the state of that thinking process so in your mind, okay? Hmm. It's locating it. Right, there it is, my child. God's laying out his argument, explanation, and intensification. Shall I try to top this part, this humanistic thinking, this board in your mind out? Shall I skim off this dross that I'm bowling up? You have to answer. Hmm. Try not to answer something. That is answering. Anything but going hot turning from that old stuff and coming hot pursuit of God is, is, yeah, it's denying God. Okay? Now, this, uh, S E C S E K A R 49, or 79, 41, <laughs> the Hebrew word, okay, it means to, it's an intoxicant. Intensely alcoholic liquor. That old carnal stinking thinking is going to influence you, intoxicate you to where you can't hear, see, hear, taste, touch, or smell nothing of God. You can't increase in God's love at all. One iota. It's got you intoxicated. It's got you bamboozled to its bullshit thinking. You get it? You stay. Uh, where you, in a state where you can't see, hear, taste, touch, or smell, nothing of God. Because you got that big log in your eye, your own ego, your own carnal mind, your non-spiritual thinking. You're eating non-spiritual stuff instead of turning to God and eating spiritual. God's righteousness. Not some ghost or not to, no, it's just talking, this is God. You're eating partaking of God's righteousness. Not your own stinking thinking. This is eating, uh, you're intoxicated by that bullshit thinking. It's worthless and detestable. It's done. Huh? All that stuff. Hmm? Filthy mistress rags. Ooh, yuck. Hmm? That hard man is desperately evil and wicked above all things. Ooh, yuck. Hmm? Alright. One's own car mine is an intoxicant or an extremely intensely diminishes one's physical and mental control. The city, this city, and its inhabitants, that's that balls of thinking, in your mind, had their balls of thinking diminished physically and mentally away from God's righteousness, his love, God's love beyond words. Coming back to the ability to return, they're getting farther and farther and farther there in a state of death because they're eating from that tree of their, their own righteousness, their own good and evil. Hmm? And they're, they're dying. They're separating. Speaking of separating from God. Hmm? Quit it. Don't swallow that stuff. Hey, be reasonable. Sit my way. Okay. The ball of thinking in the part of one's mind, this guarded city is falling from God's righteousness. You gotta either fall into God or fall out. But fall, up, fall in love with God by Him taking you on up and it, increasing that faith and the truthfulness of God, that hope and the confidence in God, that conditional love that's very manipulative of the yuck thinking bullshit. It's increasing into the love beyond the description of mere words of God. You're coming back closer and closer and closer to God's child. You're being able to reach Racham, gaining levels, a higher order 
a superior order of thinking processes in your thinking process, one thinking process, out of a whole myriad of thinking processes, little by little by little, okay? Couple more notes on this word. God is battling to vindicate, to render you innocent. Show you. One, to render, to vindicate one from this intoxicating drunkenness state, drunkenness, darkness state of one's carnal mind, of one's non spiritual mind. Be hmm. reasonable. Come back to me. Come back to my spiritual mind. Come back home. Huh? And it's appearing little by little by little when you green light him. That red light, you're dark. You're going deeper and it's deeper and darker. It's ignorance of God, okay? Now, this, um, to exist intoxicated by one's own righteousness, the darkness, ignorance of God's love, of God's righteousness is to live in the mental state of, fall, of falling away from God. Is to live in this Sychar, the city of Sychar, in duality, in this Samaria. God's going in there to deliver you, give you opportunity so you can come out. Because there's no way you could do it on your own. God is the great hero, not a villain, not a monster, huh? Just cause you gotta go through a little bit of hard stuff, be uncomfortable coming out of this stuff, man, that God is terrible, he's throwing us into hell for it. No, he's not. He's vindicating you. Vengeance is why he says the Lord, right? It's not vengeance, it's vindication. He's working to render you innocent, to prove you're, you're, not, you're, you're innocent. Come back to me. Quit beating yourself up. Quit eating that old bullshit. Come back to me. Okay? Now, let's go to the next word. Okay, let me, let me read this stuff. That verse so far, okay? In the King James Version. Okay? Now, then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar. Now we'll work on this last part. Near to a parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Okay? Now, let's go down here to the word they translated as near. What's the next word? Okay? It's 31, or 41, 39, P-L-E-S-I-O-N, this word. Strong's G, 4139, Placeon, Placeon. Placeon, okay. It's an adverb. It's a neuter of... near, okay, alright, and then, the next word after that, they translate it as to the, uh, it's, it's ha, H-O, 3588, it's that ball of thinking process, hmm, God's showing you right where it's at, huh, it's in your mind, it's, it's showing down in there. If you have a spiritual ears to hear what the Spirit is saying, hmm, when He gives the, otherwise you can't hear it. Huh? Well, it'll stay in your crap thinking. So you better perk your ears up, spiritual ears. Your ability to see, hear, taste, touch, and smell, and obey it. Hmm? Not just say, well, I'm here to. I ain't gonna cut the mustard. Okay? <clears throat> okay? Now, parcel of ground is the next word. It's from 5564. <coughs> it's C-H-O-R-I-O-N, this word. 
Strong's T-5564. Horion. 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 Okay. It's a new noun, and that's a derivative of 5561. And, um, just a minute. since what I wrote there. Okay. Now, Horion is um, it, it's diminutive. Oh, no, no, no. Let's see. Right, I'm going to just run. Diminutive. Uh, it denotes smallness. It's a spot uh, or a plot of ground. It's a small spot. A plot of ground. It's a district, a region, a place, a space. Okay? It's in your mind. Uh, in, in a field, a land, a uh, piece of ground. Okay? Now, <clears throat> this word that says diminutive of, Oh, diminutive denotes, a uh, diminutive, uh, uh, it's a diminutive of 5561, okay, and diminutive denotes, uh, smallness, okay, so it's growing smaller in the, in, in the understanding of God's love, okay, that's so what this place of ground, this, that Jacob's, uh, well was on, okay. All right, and that's speaking in your mind. You're feeding from this old stinking thinking that's diminutive. It's, it's denoting smallness, and it's growing smaller, taking you away from God, okay? Now, 5561 is diminutive. It's growing smaller. It's small. Uh, this word, C-H-O-R-A, this word. Strong's G, 5561. Chora. It's a feminine noun. It's a tract of land. The mind. Hmm? It's like uh, the land. Two in your land, in your field, in your mind, want to be taken. That old stinking thing is taken out, right? And God increases inside. The other way, try to take and, and diminish God, try to tell us, oh, he's insignificant. God doesn't talk to you. Here, listen to me. You're increasing the, the, the grasp, the hardness of your old stinking thinking. The heart of man is desperately wicked and evil above all things. You're increasing that death grip, that separation of God's, separation from God's righteousness. The, ooh, you're feeding from that bullshit. Alright? Now, <clears throat> This, um, let's see, it says that, uh, that Cora, Cora, the uh, Hora, C H O R A, that 5561, and it's diminutive, uh, of smallness, right? It's a space line between two places or limits, hmm? bringing you to that point in the eye of the storm where you're either going down, down into the shitter. Are you going up? You're red lighting guy and going down into the shitter, or you're a green lighting guy and you're coming up. Alright? Now, this, you're, this, you're uh, going down. <laughs> right? You're feeding from your own, intoxicated by your own beast nature. Alright? Through the, and this is from 5490, the etymology is from uh, this core is, um, from uh, 5490 through the idea of an empty expanse. Hmm? The darkness of your own, the darkness, ignorance of your own carnal, non spiritual thinking. Yuck! Huh? Relying on this natural stuff, non spiritual stuff. It's like relying on uh, the atoms and stuff in this natural, physical stuff. Most of that stuff in there. 
Like in this pen, the atoms in this pen is empty space. Hmm? This electromagnetic force causes the negatives to press against the negatives in the electron shells. Is that the equal, the um, like signs are, are repel, and opposite signs like positives and negatives are electrons and protons. The positives and negatives attract, and the like signs repel. The electron shells are on the outside of the atoms, right? And they repel one from another, so it feels solid to you. Hmm? It's mostly really empty space. This is like in your mind. That's natural thing teaching you about the spiritual. In your mind, this relying upon this old red wine, this old Adamic, intoxicating, extremely intensely intoxicating liquor of your own non spiritual thinking. It just makes you so drunk you can't even stand up. You just fall. You just vomit and all over the place. Right? On your own bullshit thinking. Don't even have, you can't think straight at all. Can't think, you're double-minded in all your ways, right? Unstable. Hmm? Okay. Alright. It's ignorance of God. It's an open expanse. Hmm? It's empty. An open expanse. Just like in those atoms. Most of that is the empty space. This is just most of that cold thinking. There's, there's nothing good in it. It's emptiness, darkness. Hmm? Taking you farther and farther and farther away from God. The more you feed into that, lying eating into that old knowledge of the tree of good and evil, but it's good and evil, what you think, the farther you get from God's righteousness. The farther you get from the love of God. Hmm? The more you do, 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 like the Jeb you say. Hmm? It's one of those Aboriginal giants in your land, in your mind. Hmm? That it says in First Chronicles chapter eleven, verse six, first one to drive out that sucker. Paraphrasing a little bit. Shall be chief and captain. Shall be first, first fruit. Hmm? Drive that crap out. Don't listen to that old religious separative stuff. Don't you man, you're just a big man, Billy. Do it this way. They're not dealing with the inside. Huh? Not dealing right with what God's telling. They're not answering God. They're intoxicated by this red, Adamic wine. This false wine. Not the real revelation and truth of God. Okay? Hope I'm explaining that well enough for you. Now, <coughs> that word, and this is amazing. Now this 5490 through the idea of, of empty, uh, idea of empty expanse, like that empty space, deep, dark, cold, man, it's cold out in outer space, and inside this, see, out in outer space, the heavens, the way they talk out there, the cosmos out here, external, is just showing us, the heavens of Telling the glory of God and declaring his handiwork. The nations shout and the rocks cry out to proclaim him God of earth. Ascribe to the Lord, O sons of the mighty. I have to break it down sometimes. Too. But this, this word, this empty space, it's 5490. It's down in the head mobs. We're going back down, getting down to it. So we're getting a rubber meets the road on this thing. Where this sucker is in this city? It's talking about this sidecar. It's called, talking about 5490. And that word is C H A S M A. This word. Strong's G 5490. Cosma. Cosma. It's a neuter noun and it's a chasm. A vacancy. A big gulf. A lot bigger than the Grand Canyon. This open expanse. Hmm. It's one's own righteousness. The calm on that non-spiritual thinking is like empty, black, um, 
void of space. Hmm? And it's the void of the life, the force of life in God, that love of God. Hmm? Separating. Okay, I'm going to separate it and I'll continue a little bit. Bye bye. Okay, I got it right this time. Alright, um, I'll continue. I have one more on this first, okay? Later. Bye bye.